In this lesson, we're going to begin discussing color. If you'd like to follow along, go under the File menu to Open, and in the Working Files folder, go into Chapter Number 13 and select the InDesign file, Mixing Color, and just click Open. We're going to start by using the Color panel to mix colors. If your Color panel is not open, go under your Window menu to Color, Color. And to mix colors, the first thing I'm always going to do is select an object. So I'm going to go to my selection tool and just select any one of these rectangles. And next, I want to make sure that I'm using the CMYK spectrum because this is going to be for print. So I'm going to go under my options menu of the panel and select CMYK. And I get my CMYK sliders. Let's say I wanted to mix some sort of a blue. Well, I'm going to click on the cyan slider, and let's say I drag it all the way up to 100. Now for magenta, I'm going to drag it up to, let's say, 50. And maybe I'll add just a little bit of black. How about 10%? So I have this nice, rich blue. But this is just mixing the colors. It is not saving anything. If I were to click and select some other object, the color goes away. It's not in the panel anymore. Let me go back to the object that has the color. If I wanted to use this color again and again, I would have to save it as a swatch. If I went under my options menu, the color panel, one of the choices is add to swatches. But let me go back to my CMYK sliders again. There is another way to mix colors, using the color panel. If I go over the top of my CMYK spectrum and just click, you can see that I'm picking up a color. And once again, if I wanted to use that again and again, I would save it as a swatch. Another way that I could save a color as a swatch is to right-click on the spectrum. And you can see the last choice is Add to Swatches. But also, if I was working in RGB, I could choose the RGB color spectrum here, or Lab, if I was using Lab colors. We're going to stick with CMYK. And I added that color as well to my swatches. And you can see, here are the colors that I've been saving down the bottom. Let me get my swatches panel out of the way. Now, is using the color panel the best way to accurately mix colors? Absolutely not. Why? All monitors display color differently. So even if you have a great color sense, you're depending upon a monitor, which is probably not entirely accurate. So, how do you choose colors accurately? Well, there's something called color books, which we're going to talk about in an upcoming lesson. Now, what if I wanted to pick up a color from a photograph? Is there a way to do that? Well, I'm going to select another one of these rectangles, and I'm going to zoom in a lot closer on this photograph using my zoom tool. Go to my eyedropper tool. I can hit my I key to get there very quickly. And I'm going to find one of these flowers and see if I can pick up the color. I'm just going to click on one of the flowers and pick up the color of that flower. Now, this is RGB because the image itself was never converted to CMYK. Now, that doesn't mean I can't convert it to CMYK. I can actually do it under the Options menu of the Color Panel. And I just have to be aware that the color may change. It may shift when you switch to CMYK. And that's because the RGB spectrum is much larger than what you can create with CMYK. So just be aware that there might be a color shift. 
Another thing I can do to mix colors is I can double click on my fill icon in the color panel and go to something called the color picker. And I can find the color that I'm looking for in this spectrum just by clicking. The only problem with this is the color picker also uses RGB color. So if you add it to your CMYK swatches, there may be a big color shift. So just be aware of that. There are certain colors from the RGB spectrum which don't convert all that well. Certain blues, certain greens, and certain oranges are known problems. So just be aware of it. In the next lesson, we're going to continue discussing color.